Hello, welcome back. Okay, so this is part two of the Mother's Day brunch. Um, if you did not see part one, make sure you watch that. That is where Phaedra was lying about her due date <laughs> and got caught up. Honestly, I don't remember what part two was about. I thought this whole thing was gonna be about Phaedra, so let's get into it. Putting that in your private area. <laughs> that is a yeast infection waiting to happen. Oh, you tried Yeah. Listen, I would never put Kool Aid, hand yam, peppermint candy, pancake syrup, you know, none of those things in my JJ. That's crazy. projecting here i'm pretty sure this is when her and greg was going through their mess so maybe he cheated and she was trying to get some answers <laughs> like girl what kind of random question was that i'm cheating and i was just like what made her bring that up right that was random you 30 and it's a young dude you see i'm 19 years older than yeah so i've done a whole lot of things in my life so i don't i don't need to step out anyway it wasn't like, was it all, were you always this way sexually? I, I, I think she's more uncompatible. I don't think that I've ever sexual. been a real sexual person. I'm very, really low key when it comes down to the bed, right? That's just who I am. I'm just a wide receiver. I'm just like, take over me. I don't want to work too hard. So you want to let it? Take over you. Maybe that's why a whole lot of shit going on right now. Okay? I'm just saying, maybe that's why a whole lot of shit going on. <laughs> Did she tell Peter not to bring that up? And he said he wasn't good. Like, what is Patricia? That was so unnecessary. Oh my God, Peter brought up what was going on with her and Greg. I thought I was gonna die. I'm like, I told him not to bring it up. Right. I don't give a damn. My relationship has nothing to do with sex. Yeah. I've been with him for 13 years, and I got good. Sex got a whole lot of shit. Hey, 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 no, it doesn't. You know another doing? It ain't it? number one in my relationship. It might not be number one, but that shit is close. Pause, because I was not picking my nose, okay? <laughs> my nose just itched a little bit, okay? Oh, I like. Hey, 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 no, it doesn't. You know another doing? It ain't number one in my relationship. It might not be number one, but that shit is close. It ain't no. Well, I think it's more like three and four. I like Peter. I think he's cool and all. But he absolutely crossed the line. 
Yeah, he shouldn't have said that. Listen, I'm very sensitive. I have broken down over my marriage. Like, many of that. It's, that, you know, people don't understand. It's just a lot. We lost a lot of communication. We lost a lot of trust. And those things really affect me. But like, a part of me feel like he has taken care of me for so long. Like, I feel scared to, like, just be out on my own. You know, yeah. I wish I had my mom to help me while I'm going through such a trying time in my life with Greg, but my mom passed away very young. She was in her 40s, and I'm in my 40s. I'm in a very bad place. Can I say something? Yeah. I'm going to tell you. You only have one life. You know, hey, I'm 60 now, but if I could go back 20 years, I would have cut it off 20 years ago. I'm not telling you to do that, but my mother and my stepfather are still actually married, but they've been separated since I was in the sixth grade. So she kind of has oh, wow. regret, I feel, because, you know, of course, with them being separated, they date, but she's only going to go but so far, seeing so she's still married. So why don't they get the boys? I didn't know now, I would live. I would have given myself a chance to have a life so that when I got 60, I would be sitting here telling y'all what I would have done. You know, I had never met Joyce before. When I spoke a little bit about my situation and Joyce spoke a little bit about hers, I think there was a connection. The thing about it is I let all this time go by because so I just got complete. Do you feel like you wasted a so I wasted a whole lot of time. What Joyce said to me really struck a chord with me. I could really, really relate. A lot of people think that I'm just like two different things. moment between her and Mama Joyce. I think Greg was cheating on Nene and those were the issues that they were having. It's really sad to see um, because they ended up getting divorced. But I mean, they got remarried. But yeah, that was crazy. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.